It's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about how to use the webcam within the Python. The compiler we are using is the PyCharm compiler. It is also called as the PyCharm IDE. So in order to use the webcam first of all we need to import a specialized library that is called as CV2. So you need to import library by writing CV import cv2 and this will help you to import the library after the importing of this cv2 maybe you like uh, if you if you just got the error underneath the cv2 so you need to click on this button here which is just like this uh, bulb indicator and you can click on the installation of uh, cv2 and cv2 will be get installed then okay now after the import of this library we need to create a variable so let uh, us suppose that we can say our variable name is video 0 okay or video underscore 0 it is not hard and fast rule to just use this variable you can write any like with video or video 1 with or just even v will work okay so you can write any anything of your own choice here and Python will consider it as a variable and why we are creating it because we want to store some sort of data from the right hand side into this variable and this is equal to is the assignment operator so then we will write the library that is the cv2 then there is a specialized function within this cv2 that is called as the video capture okay this is a specialized function this is a specialized function which will do which will just start playing the video okay and what is meant by this zero inside these brackets it uh, is for the uh, webcam if you want to play the some video file then you can give the link here or the path of the video file okay okay now now after this all the informations or whatsoever video capture will be stored inside with underscore zero okay so after this is done we need to write an infinite loop that is called as while true while true and colon so while true means that it will execute again and again it is not going to terminate okay it will it is just like infinite loop that is that all the all the like statements within this loop will be uh, like uh, executing again and again then we will create two type uh, two variable here the one is called as like uh, return return comma frame sorry return we, we can't say we can just write like a retu or return okay return or redo okay and frame 0 okay these two are just our what's called as the variables and obviously we want to store some sort of data in these variables yes and from where this data used to come from the right hand side so we can write with dot read with dot read okay now okay sorry it's not with dot read it is video underscore zero video video underscore zero dot read okay so now this variable uh, is like uh, now it is associated with a function that is called as read okay now what will happen now this read function will return two things one is the uh, frame obviously a video consists of a lot of frames so it will give the frame and one more thing that is the uh, one return value uh, that is a boolean type and what it means that either if there is any frame available then return will gives uh, one okay and if there isn't any sort of uh, next uh, frame available then re2 will give us zero okay so that we can um, judge that either the next frame is available or not okay so now after it we have uh, another function that is called as show function and that belongs to cv2 library cv2 dot 
m show okay cv2 dot image show simple simply we can say m, m show or image show so it is going to show the image okay for us so now uh, it will take a uh, frame and here we will write frame 0 because frame 0 is the frame from the this function that is video underscore dot read okay so this is frame 0 and this frame uh, within the code simply means that that it is one of the parameter of m show function and it will show a frame as a frame okay so now if you want to like uh, uh, terminate uh, this uh, video playing then we can write if cv2 dot wait dot wait key okay key of one and zero x f f okay and zero x f f is equal to is equal to o r d and this is q okay or we can write any other word like a okay like a and then we need to write break in order to break this statement okay okay now what will happen this statement is specialized especially for to terminate the streaming video that whenever we will press a our our like uh, what we can say is equal to is equal to like this thing if this thing is used to happen this key press event is happen then uh, our all the streaming will be breaked up okay with the help of this break okay so now after we can write video underscore zero zero dot release okay dot release function and then cv2 dot destroy all windows cv2 dot destroy all windows okay okay so, so they are not in the body of these two commands are not in the body of this while true okay while true used to uh like uh, uh, again run like from this to this okay okay like this and if condition is all uh, obviously inside this while true while these two statements are not aligned with the while true uh like all these statements so that's why they are not included in the while true so cv2 uh, video underscore zero dot release cv2 dot destroy all windows so like this okay no so now we need to run it out and you can see that either we used to get our like uh, uh, streaming video yes you can see that we got our streaming video okay and okay in this way you can run like uh, okay in order to stop it out we need to click on stop so in this way you can run uh, all sort of videos uh, live via webcam so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to use the webcam within the open cv within the uh, python and pycharm so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe